Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I picked up this uh, surplus iFact the other day and I want to do a quick video on it because I really like it. Um, the contents are, you know, the usual iFact, but I really like the pouch itself. So that's the main reason why I picked this up. So I wanted to show it to you guys. Outside is, of course, the multicam. Backside, we've got the Molly here to attach it to your rigging. Front side's got the really nice sturdy buckle here. Also got some Velcro here to help keep it closed. Got the grommet on the bottom, so if it does get wet, it's going to help drain some of the water out for you. The part that I really like is the fact that this section here comes out and still attached to your pouch here. That way this can stay to your rigging, stay to your vest, and this comes out. That way this doesn't get scattered and you don't lose it. This is a separate container here. You can see the cat tourniquet stays for easy access and that's very important that you keep the cat tourniquet easily accessible because if you get a femoral artery shot in the leg you have about three minutes before you completely bleed out and that's not counting the time you start going into shock so you've got to act quickly and precisely so having this cat tourniquet easy to access is very important Now I've got it open, it's got several different compartments. You've got your tape here, NPA, this is your airway to keep their airway maintained for the patient. Some gloves, this is an Aurelius bandage, it's a four inch version of it. Compression gauze, this is great for packing wounds. Now there were a couple different versions of this bag there and the one I picked up did come with this pool decompression needle. And some of them didn't have them. Uh, it just kind of depend on luck of the draw, I guess. But mine did come with a pull decompression needle. If you are trained to level to, to actually pull decompress someone, this is a great tool to have because a tension pneumothorax is life threatening and you can save someone's life by sticking a needle in their chest. But if you are not properly chain, trained, then it is very dangerous and you can kill somebody. So this is definitely one of those things that if you're trained it's great to have if you're untrained don't try it here the tape's got its own section it stays attached with a cord that runs through the back here that way your tape doesn't go flying this is a number 28 MPA I really want to do a video on how to properly measure and use one of these de devices but basically you can see the bevel here the bevel goes towards the middle of the nose and inserts down and this is flat against the nose. Several pair of gloves here. I've done a video on this particular bandage. I did the six inch version of this bandage but it's an emergency bandage or an Aurelius bandage, whatever you want to call it. It's a really cool bandage. Um, has uh, a lot of different uses for it for head injuries, shoulders, uh, you can use a tourniquet, uh, your extremities, so it's a cool dressing to have and they're pretty reasonably priced too. And then 18-8 compression gauze. This is for packing into a wound to help with the clotting process. I hope this video helped. You never know and you'll be the first responder.